It's another Physical Tuesday where we learn how to get bigger, faster, stronger. Stop preparing like a joke, man, and become the GOAT man. Go gang! Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. Yeah, Harold, it's another Sky Sports Performance video for you guys today. Physical Tuesday. Uh, this is for my basketball players, man. And we're going to go into the keys of dribbling between your legs. Um, dribbling between your legs allows you to keep the ball away from your defenders. Um, this is important because they're going to be swiping at that ball like swiper, man. And you don't want to get ripped. So make sure that you're able to dribble between your legs. And and this is a good thing to add to your game because it's, they're going to be unable to get at the ball. Um, so there's three things I'm going to tell you guys that helps you dribble between your legs. First and foremost, just remember SAR, S-A-R. First thing is stance. You got to make sure that your knees are bent, hips are dipped. Um, this makes it a lot easier to dribble the ball between your legs because you're bent and the ball is going to bounce low. When you're bouncing the ball low, there's a less chance for, for the defender to get at it. And also, it's a better, it's a cleaner crossover. It's harder for the defender to get it. Second is the angle of the bounce. Just like I said, when you're in a good stance where your hips are dipped, knees are bent, um, the angle of the bounce helps it become a lower bounce. And when it's a lower bounce, it's easier for you to get it. And it's easier for you to play like that. Um, a lot of times people worry about bouncing the ball high and doing certain things. But when you bounce the ball high, it's harder to get a grip of the ball because that helps that helps in carry and you don't want to carry you want to make sure that you're bouncing the ball and getting it between your legs and being able to play like that um and the last part is r rhythm you want to make sure you have a good rhythm um a lot of times it's just like dancing it's just finding the beat to it so if you can find the rhythm between dribbling between your legs it can help become a easier thing to do in the game because you won't just worry about oh i just gotta i just gotta dribble and then it's all out of whack you could just bang bang you know what i mean and it's just like you got the ball between your legs and it's easier to to play like that so remember sar s-a-r stance angle of the bounce and rhythm but until then peace check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court the no bottle left behind act supports this video. You feel me?